2019, Hawaii was rated number three in the nation for being the healthiest state. And not that that's untrue, but I think it's a little deceiving because there is so much differences in health and lifestyle and habits among the different ethnic groups. Um, for example, Native Hawaiians have the highest rates of obesity, and it's higher than, than the national rate. So about three in four Native Hawaiians are considered overweight or obese, and that's quite a high rate. They also have the highest rates of heart attack and of depression and kidney disease. As Native Hawaiians, we've experienced more than our share, more than the state average for other ethnic populations of both medical and mental illnesses, and certainly higher rates of obesity-related diseases such as diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and some cancers. Ulu is one of our food staples, um, and nutritionally, it's an excellent source of vitamins A, and B. It's an excellent source of magnesium, potassium, calcium, and iron, and all these nutrients are essential in helping our body, our enzymes to function, our brain function, our eyes, our muscles, our heart, um, and our bones. If you compare ulu to rice, say for example, it has five times more fiber than rice does. If you're comparing it to potatoes, it has two times more protein than potatoes. Some of the key things that ulu has compared to like say these other staples that's, that's used in other cultures is that it's very high in lutein and it's very high in beta carotene. Lutein is really good in maintaining good vision. It's also very good for cognitive and brain health. It has been shown to reduce inflammation, which reducing inflammation in your body just reduces your risk of any kind of disease overall. It helps to lower your LDL or your bad cholesterol, and at the same time helps to increase HDL or your good cholesterol. So a half a cup of uru has three times more lutein than a cup of spinach, four times more than a cup of kale, and 48 times more than a cup of broccoli. So when you compare it to other vegetables, you can see how it's you know pretty, pretty nutritionally superior in that sense. And for beta carotene, it's, it's really good for heart health. It's really good in preventing cancers. And that's mainly because it's considered an antioxidant. So antioxidants help to protect ourselves from getting damage, which can lead to disease. Again, a half a cup of ulu has uh, three times more beta carotene than a cup of carrots. When you talk about beta carotene, usually the first thing people think about is carrots. But it also has more beta carotene than sweet potato and more than spinach and kale as well. So the amount that's in ulu is just so much higher. And of course, you're eating less of it, like half a cup of ulu to one cup of all these other vegetables. When we return to our native diet, it's part of our returning to our healthy lifestyles. The Polynesian diet was the healthiest diet on the planet. It was very low in sugar, very low in fat. It was very nutrient dense in that it was largely fish, limu, and some very limited plants, interestingly enough. The Dietary Services Department at Kona Hospital has been on an initiative to increase plant-based nutrition options for our patients as well as more culturally sound options. We find that this increases the likelihood of people eating an adequate diet to heal. Incorporating local foods such as ulu into our menus has meant that our patients have a new excitement for hospital food. They see this food that they might remember growing up with, maybe their auntie or their grandmother used to cook with ulu. Sometimes people kind of just forgot about ulu. And now when they see it on the menu, they're choosing it and they're very excited. People are saying, please do more ulu. We love the ulu burgers. We love the ulu casserole. Please use it because they know that we're sustaining the island. We're you know, sending our money, our food dollars back into the community and we're supporting this cultural food that we're bringing back on the map here in Hawaii. If I had to give advice, I would say as much as possible, try to adopt a plant-based diet, especially one based on local foods and indigenous foods. Drink lots of water, get a good night's sleep. Malama ohana, take good care of your family and friends. Malama aina. Take time out of every day to pule, to ponder, and to read so that you develop a strong spiritual and intellectual foundation. Following that advice, we will be the healthy people we were meant to be.